There are seven projects here and we're going to rank them all the way from D tier to S tier. Now I found all these projects on slash r slash react.js. Let's jump into the first one called Astro Fox. Essentially from what I'm getting, first of all, the UI looks pretty amazing. And apparently what it does is it sort of is a visualizer for audio. Um, you have to actually download it. So I guess it's like a React application inside a desktop app. But if we play the video, you can see that it actually will just take your audio file and over overlay it oh, that's really loud. with some cool sounds like uh, I guess you could have the little sound thingy um, <laughs> I guess this box that sort of like uh, can transform into different shapes and just go over and over again um, now right out the bat I gotta say the UI is super clean and I think the idea is awesome if you ever like watch one of those lo-fi streams and stuff like that you've probably seen this sort of effect somewhere on there um, and it's pretty cool being able to, I guess, just have something like this on hand. Uh, and for a React project, I think this is absolutely insane. Now, I don't know if anyone would really want to, like, look at this thing spinning for, for that long. So maybe the effects uh, could use a bit of work. But honestly, just the idea and the execution of the UI um, is pretty impressive. I would definitely probably put this in A tier. Um, and by the way, the links to all of these are going to be in the description if you want to check any of them out. The next one we have is this chessboard. So sort of similar, sort of another artsy type of project. Uh, as you can see, this one is a bit more bare bones. So the person who made it was probably also experimenting uh, with CSS quite a bit. Um, and it looks like you can change a bunch of things about this. And I think the idea here is you're supposed to create sort of like a design that you like, and then you can like download it and use it as a wallpaper or something like that. Um, I don't like how the colors are sort of limited between uh, what is being chosen here. I don't think it would have been too hard to maybe add something that allows you to choose a custom hex color. It looks like they also have a bunch of cool uh, sizing options and other things you can use here. So that's honestly pretty cool. You can change them to circles and change the radiuses around and stuff like that. Um, it looks like there were, there does seem to be plans to add some text here, but it never uh, got done, I guess. But overall, I like the idea. Um, I think it's a great beginner project and the fact that you know he sort of didn't just stop at colors he also added a bunch of things to control the size of the uh, designs and stuff like that I think that's like pretty creative probably B tier um, I think it's a great uh, starter uh, project and I like how he didn't just stop at one thing he just kept going further and further now the next one is this sort of card game now first of all the UI for this and the animations are so smooth um, I think it, it, it's it's really amazing what they've done here now I have no idea what game this is or sort of what is happening uh, from what I understand, you have to sort of get rid of all the cards in your hands and there's some rules based on what you can play and what you can't play. There's no really introduction as soon as you go to the website, it just throws you into a game like this. But the animations are so smooth for these cards. I love the attention to detail with that little shadow around the cards to show that there's multiple cards there. I love how the game sort of just runs itself um, and you know, it, it, it feels super smooth um, and honestly, really well done. I wish there was just, you know, maybe even a link or even just like is something to direct you in the direction of uh, something to show you how to play the game. But obviously, as a React project, this guy's not intending probably for a lot of people to use the site. He probably just wanted to push the limits of what he could currently do with React and CSS. And honestly, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty impressive stuff. Um, I would probably go ahead and give this one a uh, A as well. Now, the next one. This one is pretty cool. It's like a Pokedex, uh, but it's themed as Windows 95. Um, as you can see, it's uh, pretty basic. Um, you can click on a Pokemon and you can go ahead and see the stats and the abilities and stuff like that. And man, the attention to detail here is so sick. Pretty much, you really do feel like you're on an old operating system. And like the fact that they even have the hover color perfectly as well and everything, um, honestly, really, really cool. You can even search uh, and it will automatically filter the list. Um, you can then click the top left and see a bunch of stuff about the person. So the GitHub repo and the about and the startup sound, which I didn't hear when I first opened the site, uh, but I'm sure is pretty awesome. What I do wish is they maybe added a bit more Pokemon. I know they're just using Pokey API. I do wish that they sort of 
added a bit more Pokemon to it or maybe had the option to load more data in uh, depending on which generation you're looking at but overall this is so clean so well done and he sort of had a vision and he executed on it perfectly uh, even if you know on the outside it might look simple I'm sure it was quite a journey to create something like this so I'm gonna also probably give this one an A tier next one we have it's like EU is mod in the reddit comments he said that this was a, a word in a different language um for grid and it makes sense because this whole site is essentially uh teaching people how to use css grid if you've ever used flexbox froggy to learn flexbox this is sort of the similar idea but for grid so for example you can go to the lessons and on each lesson i already uh, did them but usually it will have like a bit of an explanation of what is going on and then it will uh sort of give you these um placeholders where you can type in what the answers should be to style the grid uh the way you want it to so sort of like a online css coding uh platform to learn uh how it works and you can even do the quiz and stuff like that which i think is pretty cool um and that's pretty much the extent of it there's only four lessons they have a dark mode and a light mode which i of course like and even though the lessons are somewhat limited i like the idea and i think it was a great project in terms of learning how to create a nice scalable ui i'm gonna go ahead and oh man i also want to maybe give this an a tier um i wish it was sort of built out a bit more because i do think the idea is actually pretty helpful but in terms of just a project to learn stuff i think is like a, a pretty sick project uh the next one we're going to look at is this one called jira clone so this one looks like someone literally just built a clone of jira um, I personally don't like using Jira for anything. Um, I've used it for a couple jobs and stuff like that. Not my favorite. But yeah, there are a lot of features to Jira. Even just the part where you can like create tasks and assign them to people and stuff like that. So the fact that they created all of this, first of all, must have been a lot of work. It seems like we're logged in right now as uh, Lord Gavin. Um, which is pretty cool. It looks like it took a lot of work um, to create all of this and I sort of like the way the UI is. It's very similar to Jira, but also it feels very clean and very responsive as well, which sometimes because of how much Jira lags depending on what you're using on, uh, isn't always the case. I'm gonna give this one an A tier just because it was executed pretty well. And the last one we have is this VS Code Portfolio. Now this one is pretty incredible. If you're a React developer, you've definitely used VS Code before and man, when I opened this, I actually thought this was like an online IDE, like a VS Code through browser, because this looks exactly like VS Code. Um, so again, a lot of attention to detail there. And I love how on the sidebar, um, they have, you know, you can click the, uh, all these links to get to different places, so like the source of this project, the person's GitHub, their LinkedIn, but also each one of these files in the Explorer, which you can open and close. And by the way, they are part of a folder. And he has like a really sick, like default screen here, um, is something Thing related to him so it's sort of like all the information you find on a resume or on LinkedIn packed into this like really nice site that sort of showcases that this guy codes uh, we get it bro you code um, and, and it's sort of like really intuitive to use as well honestly this is probably my favorite one because not only is it something that he used to learn but it's also like really useful like if I made this anytime I apply to a job or anytime that I need to show some of my portfolio I would definitely link to this this is an insane portfolio site um, and I think this this one's definitely an S tier project. So if I missed any cool projects or if you have any projects I want to use in the next video, drop them in the comments, let me know. And that has been it. I'll see you guys in the next video.